Hey guys, Kev here. I wanted to show you some stuff from Urban EDC. So, uh, real quick, a uh, quick rundown of some new stuff that's coming out. Uh, really cool stuff. This is dropping uh, the following Wednesday from now, which I don't know the exact dates. Early April, like um, April 5th, something like that. This is the Urban EDC F5.5 box nez design and this is orange g10 which honestly looks really good i did not expect to like this as much as i do um is it like you know my favorite colorway or anything no but it's surprisingly awesome so uh i'm really happy to say that um this is dropping and i think a lot of people are gonna like it really comfortable in the hand um, I will say this exact example, uh, the detent is a little lighter than some of the more recent ones I've had, but it usually is within a range, and it's not unacceptable by any means. Um, I can still, you know, push flick it out. I can thumb flick it out easy, no problem. Um, the right-handed thumb flick is good. Um, you know, so it's fine, just not as crispy as some of the ones I've handled. Uh, my personal titanium one here in the hand satin, I love this one. Um, this one's got a stout detent, so I really like the way that one feels. And, um, you know, that's the one I kind of compare things to. But there's titanium versus orange G10. This one is a hand satin. Um, this one is a, oops. This one is a PVD. I think what I'm going to do real quick, and this will probably help a lot, just put a drop of KPL Heavy on the detent ball. Uh, once the uh, black coating wears in on that detent ball, these F5.5s in the coated are nasty. Um, seriously. So let me just hit it real quick. This usually helps, so let me do that. Then I'm gonna make sure I clean that off because I don't want it on my lock face, that's for sure. Okay. Just being extra careful. All right, and then we work it in. Kind of how it goes with all of them. You carry it for like a day. I mean, look at that. It's already way better. That last little bit just needs to wear in on the detent track and then it'll be good. It's already dropping to my nail. It's just right there. This little bit needs to wear in. Um, but yeah, really digging the orange. I think it's cool. Um, you guys know I love this model, so it's, it's just an easy, an easy one to recommend. Um, they also are dropping this, eh, which is this, um, Treasure Now coin. I don't know much about them or anything, but it matches, which is pretty cool really nice coin. I mean, it's all detailed etched in there. Carry daily journey often. Very unique coin. I don't know if it was meant for Halloween or something, but check that out. It's a pretty cool carry right there. You'd be doing very nice. So that's some stuff coming very soon it may have already dropped by the time you see this i don't know how i'm gonna do this uh or like when i'm gonna drop it or anything like that but um check my link down below uh would appreciate it if you're gonna pick one of these up if you use the link it helps the channel out and uh yeah f5.5 can't go wrong orange g10 i love the way they finish their g10 
I am not a G10 guy, but I want it to be finished like this. Um, one of my favorite F5.5s, honestly, is the all blacked out one in G10. So if that tells you anything, but um, let me grab the bag here. <laughs> and then I want to go over a couple of things from, uh, I went through the slip. Uh, I want to go over a couple of things from last week because they did send them to me and I just, uh, I didn't get them in time for the drop. So I wanted to go over them. I'm drinking my uh, boiling cream soda. This stuff is out of control good. Really digging that company in their soda right now, which is probably not good. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go through what I have. This one is a lighter which is pretty dang cool. Uh, I think it's a Japanese made. Yeah, there you go. Japanese field lighter from Douglas. And essentially it's aluminum. It's this blue anodized aluminum. I'm pretty sure anyway, it's aluminum. And it's got a, a really cool uh, setup. So, you know, not many people are using lighters anymore these days, but, um, you know, if you do. So right here, you can unscrew this guy. And that's how you replace your flint. And then you can unscrew this guy. And this is how you load up. You could put your, uh, but uh, not butane, your kerosene, whatever it is. You pour it in here. Zippo fluid is what I call it. And you know, there's the cotton in there. So you do that. And then you strike it up here. You have this wheel. And you have this uh, bar. So this bar pulls up and releases the cap. And then the wheel sparks it. So basically, you just, whoops, you just do that. And when you do that, it ignites the uh, Zippo fluid as long as it's in there, right? Which there isn't right now um, because this is brand new. I think it's really cool. I mean, if you were, say, a Zippo type guy, um, this is cool. Like if you were a cigar guy or something, you know, you could set this on your cigar table or whatever. Um, it's not something, you know, I'm looking for cause I don't smoke anymore. And even when I did smoke, I don't think I would pocket this. Although I'd be curious if it would leak, if you had it upside down in your pocket or something, probably meant to sit like this, you know? But really cool. That's the Douglas lighter. So if you guys are cigar smokers, it'd probably be my, you know, unless you wanted like a lighter for the house if you're a, a cigarette smoker. Not many uh, smokers out there anymore as far as I know. But, um, you know, I quit a while ago. I used to smoke too. This one here is, I'll just put this card here. Um, this one's from uh, Justin Lundquist. So... He has this little crispy clean grinds sticker, which is cool. Justin Lundquist, knives and gear. And he makes these custom pry bars, which is really cool. He also makes worry stones. Those were available as well. But uh, check it out. It's this little pry bar. It's just got a really cool, sleek design. That's kind of his thing, you know, very chamfered. It's got the JL right there. You got the bottle opener here. And you got the little pry flathead here. I mean, just a little guy to do the trick. Hang on your keys. Um, you could do whatever you wanted with it. I think they're like 60 or 70 bucks, maybe 80, something like that. You know, it's made by a dude, so it's it's going to cost some money. And blue anodized, I think it's cool. So that's the pry bar from uh, Justin Lundquist. I definitely dig. If it's something you're into, you know, I'm not a little pry bar guy. So it's not for me but well made then we have this one this one's really cool this is from uh is it Amsler? yeah Amsler. comes with a sheep comes with a chain and a bajillion uh o-rings which is funny um and a uh coa so this is a stone washed uh, cpms 35 titanium a uh, clip and spacer and paul boss heat treat and it's called the Mini 2049. It was just made. And basically, there's a bit in here. I just realized that there's a bit in here. So that's probably for the uh, clip screws. But look, 
You get a little uh, sheath, so you can clip this in your pocket like that in the sheath and then just take it out when you need it. And when you pop this guy out of here, you get a little uh, scalpel blade. S35VN scalpel blade. That's pretty cool in my opinion. It does cut pretty well. Um, I actually have... Man, my kid was in my uh, room here messing around and stuff's everywhere. So you kind of... It's hard to hold in a good grip, but I mean, that cuts pretty damn well right there for not having a good grip on it, right? Um, make sure I keep everything together here. So I think it's cool. It's got like a really big edge bevel. Um, yeah, obviously the whole thing is made out of S35 and then the clip is titanium. Um, you know, comfortable grip. I don't think you could use the O-rings to like put a bit in or anything. Maybe on the larger ones, this is the mini. So I don't know if the larger ones you could actually like slot bits into these areas, but I like this little guy size. Um, you could also put this onto a um, chain and then you could wear it, you know, as a neck knife or something. I don't know. Looks like there's two chains in here. So they got you covered. I mean, they're giving you a lot of accessories, which is cool. I will admit I hate these chains just because they, they uh, pinch my hair around my neck or whatever. So best to use um, paracord or something. But, you know, I don't think I would carry it that way anyway. I think I would put this in my pocket. And I would probably uh, just put it in a backpack, you know, slot it in a pocket or something in a backpack. Um, so... I don't, again, <clears throat> I don't think it's something I'm going to spend my money on just because <clears throat> I've tried fixed blades before and I, I love some of them. The chickadee is one of my favorite. It's just, you know, I got enough knives on me and, and I like fidget factor. So, uh, but those are cool and they may still be in stock. Uh, then we have the Rook. This is really cool. This is from CWF. Uh, Charles Wiggins is... An awesome dude. This one does come with the lanyard. And uh, this is a lanyard bead. So this is in antique bronze. And essentially it's a rook from the chess set, obviously, or a chess set. And what he did was he put a pass through, right? And so what you do is you put it, you put the cord through, pull it out, knot it down here, and then you pull it back and it'll it'll catch in here. You gotta make the knot big enough. And the knot will sit in the end of the rook. And so you'll just have this cord coming out of here, but you won't have a cord down here. It won't look dumb. It'll look great. Um, and yes, I am not a lanyard guy, but that would be a sweet lanyard for somebody who is. You know, you could easily just yank on this thing, get something out of your pocket. So really cool. I, I Obviously, I love uh, CWF flashlights are my favorite. It's the Micro Arcadian. And uh, so, you know, I want to support Charles. Great dude. And uh, you could, I think they actually have a brass or a copper CWF Micro Arcadian in stock right now. A few of them. So use my link down below. Go get a flashlight and then this. I don't know if you could put the, the lanyard on the flashlight, but it would match. It'd be pretty cool. Sort of match, I guess. Anyway really cool piece and then the last one is awesome so i asked for this i actually wanted to buy it and i'm glad i asked for it and got to check it out because i ended up not wanting to buy it but i'll explain it's more of a me issue so this is um the daily custom super tinker honeycomb 3d titanium and then micarta inlay and there's the same thing there. It has this thing. It is 100% made in Germany and is actually made in Hamburg, which is where I am from in Germany, which is pretty cool. So you have daily customs. I was born in Germany. Uh, we moved back here when I was three. So my whole family on my mom's side is still there. My mom is German. My dad is American. There you go. See away. Here's some screws, which this is something we'll talk about. But here is this beauty of a sack. 
Check out my sack, yo. Look at this honeycomb. It just absolutely stands out to me. I mean, it is, a, it is amazing. Out of all the ones that I saw on this drop, this one just, whew, man. So I was going to buy it, you know, I figured I might. So I asked to check it out. Um, so this one right here will probably get resold, you know, once I send these back. Um, you know, if this posts early enough and one of you guys really wants this one, you could always uh, email me, leftyedc88 at gmail.com, and I could probably get your info over to them. They could invoice you for it. You could just buy this one because they're all sold out at this point. Some of the items I just showed you are from the last drop, and they're still in stock. This one uh, is sold out. The problem for me, there's two things. The reason why I didn't end up wanting to buy it is... One, it is too thick. I don't want a three-layer um, Swiss Army knife. I think I'd want like a two-layer. I think the compact is a two-layer and a clip, and then I could maybe carry it or put it in a pouch or something. I just don't think I want to spend $240 for this, this setup, if that makes sense. The other issue I have is for the price of $240, I would expect the pocket clip to come with it. There's screws, but there is no pocket clip. So what am I supposed to do if I bought this to carry it with the clip? Like, do you just, you have to buy the clip separately and then is the clip available? You know, if it's one of those things where these sell out all the time, well then you know what am i waiting to to hunt the clip down and then how much is the clip if this is 240 dollars, that clip might be like 100 bucks i don't know so that part bothers me but the biggest thing is that i literally just uh suck at nail nicks everything on here requires a nail nick you can't pinch anything the blade here comes out the easiest um it's quite easy to pinch out the secondary blade is a little bit harder, but trying to get the hook out, the parcel hook and the all out, um, I literally almost ripped my nail off and my nails are just thin and not very strong. So, you know, it's just not an appealing idea for me to, um, to get a, a Swiss army knife, I think, where... Personally, I have a lot of, um, I use this a lot, my Charge Plus, and I don't have much trouble with it. I just roll out the blades. Um, on these, I can actually reverse flick the blade out because I'm left-handed, maybe. Um, I think it's just set up easier. Yeah, can't do it right-handed. You can, you know, obviously roll it, but. I can flick these pretty easily and they lock up, which is pretty cool. Um, and then when I want to get inside to another tool, these are not nail nicks really. They have these little hooks and I just, you know, it is kind of a nail nick situation, but you kind of just put your hook, your hook, your uh, nail on there and pull it out and then it'll fold down and you can, you know, you can use something to grab it. Um, you can do kind of whatever you need to do. It's just easier than trying to get that out. Um, you know, and it has pliers. It's obviously a lot bigger too, but um, I don't know. I just like my Charge Plus. Um, I don't carry it anywhere. It literally sits in this uh, sheath right here, and it sits at my desk. I use it in videos sometimes. But, um, yeah, I also have stuff like the um, Micra and the Squirt. So this is the Squirt. Um, this is going to be more in that size range. Again, you get pliers. Do I need them all the time? No, not really. Um, but you have, you know, a little blade right here. And then you got the, um, you, get, you have little scissors on here. And you have a bottle opener. And again, nail nick kind of style here. Um, so not the best, but... I already own it, so, you know, uh, here's one that I own, actually, I don't know if this is, is this the same model, huh, never even, uh, thought to check, this is a three-layer, 
let's see what's different here. Screwdriver, screwdriver, all. Um, we have an all here. Right there. Uh, parcel hook is not here. This has a main blade. A, and these are so much easier to get out. That one's stiff as... F and I, I don't think I've ever used this, so don't say it's broken in. This is not a three-layer is what I'm gathering. This is a two-layer. Right? I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. It still has that piece in the middle. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a saw? <laughs> I didn't even know this. This was in my truck for a long time. Um, I think it was Mark Kaufman who donated this to me. Thank you, dude, by the way. I just never have needed it. It has a giant saw on it. So instead of, I guess it's a little thinner because it just has that saw. But that gets rid of the parcel hook. and So I don't know what this one's called. Um, but I've had it for a little while and I just don't use them, you know, just never use them. So, uh, I've decided against buying this is the, the stupid point. All right. But it's fantastic. It's got this micarta inlay. So if you're a sack guy, um, uh, I think you'll like this sack very much. So there we go. So that is pretty much it guys. That's the stuff that was in the last drop that, um, let me just get this together, right? Stuff that was in the last drop that may still be available. And then there's a little show and tell here for you of what's coming next week. Um, just a couple of, of the items. There's obviously more. Yeah, see, look, this is already... It just wants to swing down, though. And then... Zoop. Yeah, this is going to be absolute glass in a second. Let's see if you can hear the difference. I don't know. You can still hear it rubbing, but it is super smooth now. That might even help the detent a little bit once that fully breaks in. Yeah. Such a good knife. I absolutely love the F5.5. And this orange one is I can it's sexy, man. It really is. I'm just not an orange EDC guy. So yeah. But uh it is cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of all this. Um, if you're going to check this stuff out next week. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to post this because I usually do the What's Hot video. And I don't know if this would count as that because, um, well, I've only talked about two things for next week. But hey, maybe I'll do that. If there's anything like super cool next week that. Um, you know, I really want to touch on, I'll, uh, I'll add it at the end here or something. I'll do that. Um, but it's probably going to be the F 5.5. That is the highlight of the next, um, gear drop. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Appreciate you guys spending some time with me. Um, and, uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace.